Hey guys, this is your reading for the full moon in Gemini on December 18th, 2021. So let's see what is going on. Please remember these are general readings. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you could go ahead and just put in the comments here, what is your sign? That would be helpful. All right, I read these cards intuitively. So you're going to get the message from spirit. We're also going to talk about what needs to be released. Ooh, two aces in a row. Very, very nice. Um, because the full moon is all about releasing. So it's a good time to write down things that you want to let go of in your life. And go ahead and take that piece of paper and burn it. Burn it responsibly. Make sure you're not burning it in your house. Do not set off the fire alarms. <laughs> all right. Um, I usually have like a little glass jar that I take outside, put a piece of paper in it so that you can cap it. Okay, so do it, do it responsibly. All right, let's see what we have going on. If you guys are excited to hear the message from Spirit, go ahead and please give me a thumbs up. Wow, this is a beautiful reading, and I feel as though it's perfect for moving us right into the new year here. So we've got the Five of Wands with the Empress card, the Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Cups here. So this Five of Wands is about conflict. Um, they are making me feel for some of you, it's a lot in your mind. There's a lot of limiting beliefs that you still might have that is keeping you from moving forward. And a lot of that has to do with about loving yourself and feeling worthy. Uh, imposter syndrome is coming up. So if you're in business or coach or entrepreneur or um, even a therapist or anything like that, where you're working with other people and you kind of have to step into a role that it's a little bit uncomfortable for you. Spirit's saying, do it anyway. You're never going to get there unless you start trying. So as you do, you will build your confidence. You will be able to see that. Now, for others of you that this resonates with love, I feel as though, you know, you might have been through toxic relationships in the past, conflict, relationships, breakups, all of these different things that have maybe hindered your love for yourself. But I do feel as though this is coming back to you now. So it's about taking control of that, healing what you need to heal, stepping into that next version of yourself, and really realizing that everything in your past, all your childhood trauma, past relationships, like they just weren't good matches for you. And that none of that actually had to do with who you actually are. And with these two aces right here, like this is, this is huge. This is big. Uh, two brand new beginnings here. And I do feel... You know, one's in work, one's in love. So <laughs> you get to choose and you get to choose to have them both as well. And when you do that inner work, when you do the inner child stuff, when you heal that childhood trauma and let go of anxiety and depression and, you know, self-doubt and confusion and all of that stuff, you get to have it all. And that's what I'm feeling here. And I think 2000, I was actually just having this conversation last night with the women in my academy, um, is that when you heal yourself now, like in 2021 was for me the year of healing. Uh, I think I said in 2020 that 2021 is was going to pass you by if you didn't do the work that you needed to do. So if you've been doing the healing and it's not too late, right? We're still in December. But if you've been doing that healing, you are going to see you're going to reap the benefits in 2022 because you're going to see that your vibration is so much higher and you're going to be calling in things to you. And that's the proof here with these two aces. Now, moving forward, you've got the chariot here with the two of cups, with the eight of wands and the sun. So there is definitely a push forward um, it's kind of like everything that you've been wanting is going to come to fruition in 2022. And I'm feeling like it's going to be February, March time that this is going to happen. Uh, but the momentum starts now. The momentum starts, it starts now, but it also, I'm feeling January is kind of like the month that you're building, 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 and then everything comes to fruition in February and March. So you're definitely moving forward, but this is going to be quick. It's going to be very, very quick. You're going to build relationships here, two of cups. So for some of you, it might be, you know, getting into a new relationship for some of you. And that relationship might go very quickly. Just be careful with toxic relationships. Okay. Heed my warning here is that make sure that the relationship is going quickly on your terms. Make sure that you know who you're dealing with and give it time and space to actually know that. Okay. For some of you, you might even be in a relationship and then it might go, um, might, you know, pan out and go quickly. But just be careful, okay? Be careful. Toxic relationship, narcissists, okay? Watch their actions, not their words. All right. 
I do have some love readings coming out on this channel, so just uh, watch out for those in the next couple of days. But you got the Eight of Wands. I'm telling you, it's quick, and you've got the Sun. Now, the Sun is usually my healing card, but I'm feeling like this isn't that. Like, I feel as though you're magnifying your energy. You are amplifying it. You are putting it out into this world. Some of you as leaders are stepping up and starting to show up in a way that really magnetizes you and really allows you to be who you are. Maybe you're stepping up in work and you're being recognized for that. But that's what the sun card is for me. And this full moon, it's like whatever you need to release with this full moon, whatever you release here is, is what is going to pull you forward. Whatever this conflict is, maybe you don't feel worthy enough. Maybe you don't love yourself enough. Maybe you feel like you're not enough. All of that stuff. Maybe you need to open your heart. Okay, I have my open your heart and trust yourself again. Uh, course starting um, next week actually so you can find that in the description box but this is about opening your heart and allowing the universe to support you allowing other people to support you with this two of cups oh my gosh seriously we can't make this up unexpected help <laughs> shows up here with the six of coins so the universe is trying to help you it's about opening your heart and allowing you know people that they send to you allowing people to help you Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Budget lessons here. Five of coins. And let me just get the other card here. Cash flow. Okay, so there's some money. So there's some issues with your cash here. So you got budget lessons and you got cash flow. Now again, opening your heart, allowing yourself to receive. Allowing yourself to, again, get yourself into this highest vibration, magnetizing your energy, being in alignment is allowing you to bring more money in. Now, we talked about limiting beliefs in the beginning of this. A lot of us have li money limiting beliefs. Now, I have a, um, a money manifest workshop on my website. I think it's only like 59 bucks. So it takes you through two hours of really identifying your limiting beliefs around money. This is what this is about. This is about having limiting beliefs around money that are holding you and keeping you stuck of where you're at and I can feel some of you are going, I just want it. I just want it, but I can't get there. It'll never happen for me. And again, that goes back to this Empress card. That goes back to loving yourself. Um, I feel like we're going to do a little energy work here as well. So let's see what else we got. These are the Star Dragon cards uh, Oracle set. So let's go see what other message do we have for this full moon in Gemini here. You know, Gemini is kind of known for going back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth. And we're going to ask you to kind of make a decision and to stick with it and to follow through with it. And we have effort here, conquering your demons. So this is about those limiting beliefs, your energy that's stuck in the past. Now, if you've done a lot of therapy work, if you've done a lot of affirmations and limiting belief stuff, it's the energy that's the problem, okay? Because your energy is still stuck around the traumatic events or things that have happened in the past. Maybe you lost all your money. Maybe your parents lost their job. Maybe, um, you know, you lost your job. Anything like that. Maybe even just the situation that we're in right now. People can't find jobs even though everybody's hiring. It makes absolutely no sense. But effort here. It's about putting in the effort to remove your blocks in order to get where you want to be. Transformation. Defining yourself. So this is about, again, moving into this highest version of you, moving into the version that knows that you're enough to do anything and bring in anything in your life that you want, relationships, love, um, work, career, money, all of it. It all comes down to what you believe about yourself and releasing the energy that is causing you. Remember, our energy holds our thoughts, feelings, and emotions. So it's not just our mind. It's about actually moving our mind out of the way getting our energy, releasing our energy uh, from trapped stuff and then l moving it up to allow yourself to live the life that you want to live because you really can. You can live anything that you want, you can have. And look, <laughs> oh man, this is killing me. Creation, all right? The spirits are with you. The spirits are confirming everything that we're bringing to you today. Creation, it is your ability to create. It's your ability to create your life the way that you want it, to feel the way that you want to. Discovery, to discover new people, to discover new things, to discover yourself. Self-discovery, know more about yourself. You know, astrology, human design, energy, um, intuition, like there's so much that's a part of us that we don't even, 
like aren't even aware of expansion <laughs> I absolutely love this reading expansion okay it's time to expand expand your mind expand your energy expand your thoughts expand your life all right and I know for some of you uh, because it's a lower vibration this is too far-fetched to even understand but when you start to just like kind of hack away at the little things that are holding you back, the limiting beliefs, once you start to transform and um, you know open that heart and also release all of the energy that is blocking you. Okay, please remember that when you go through events, situations, trauma, the energy stays with you and it actually affects your body part. So if you're physically ill, it's most likely because you have childhood trauma that have been, has been staying with you ever since then. And that makes your body physically ill. Okay, there's energy centers in our body. Um, I talk about that all in my book here. It's not you, it's your energy. So if that resonates with you and you want to learn more, you can go ahead and get that on Amazon. It's down in the description box. But this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. And this full moon is like, it's moving you forward. But you have to be the one to decide. You have to be the one to step out of the feelings that you're feeling right now in order to say, you know what? Maybe there is more. Maybe I can do more. Maybe I can be more and get out of, I call it the, the rabbit hole. Because once we're in the rabbit hole, it's very hard to get ourselves out. There's no stairs. There's no you know, things to hold on to in order to pull yourself out of a hole. That's where a lot of people get into fear, anxiety, depression. And it's time to work with your energy and also your limiting beliefs in order to move you forward into your life. And it's very, very doable. Okay, This is what I teach in the academy. And that is what this reading is all about. There are big things coming for you, but you have to get out of your own way in order for it to happen and come in. And you have to open your heart and allow that kind of abundance in. If you're already, if you can't ask for help, if you can't um, accept help, you know, when it is offered to you, that is telling me that your heart is closed and it's time to open it up so that you can find love, you can find money, you can find success, you can find peace and happiness expansion, discovery, creation. I mean, oh my gosh, these are beautiful, beautiful cards. So it's like, are you going to jump on the train and, and, you know, ride it so that you can get into where you want to be in your life? All right, let's just do a little bit of energy work. Okay. Just opening that heart a little bit more. Obviously I'm going to do this more in the six week course that I have coming up, but let's just go do some of that here. So go ahead and take a, a deep breath in and just push it out. Whew. Give your body a nice little stretch, stretch out your shoulders, move into your body here, releasing some energy. Go ahead and just close your eyes for a second. All I'm gonna do is connect the divine energy to your energy to release any blockages. So for anything that came up for you here, I want you to think about that. What really resonated with you? What came up with you about letting something go? And let's just think about that and bring that to the surface. And go ahead and take a deep breath in. And let it out. Take a deep breath in. It's allowing all that energy to work its way out. And as you blow that out, all of that energy, just releasing from your body, releasing from your mind, letting go of past events, past situations, past traumas. And one more deep breath in. 
and go ahead and let it out. Now the three cards that were pulled here, these are chakra cards. So this is telling me this is your crown chakra. So this is about your connection to your intuition. This is about your connection to the divine, to spirits on the other side, to angels, loved ones, and really kind of just opening your mind here, opening the possibility of something else. The discovery here is your root. This is about safety. These are energy centers in your bodies, which are chakras. These are my chakra cards. Um, so this is about safety. This is about feeling safe to move forward into these new beginnings, to feel safe, to open yourself up, to feel safe, to show up in your life the way that you want to show up, whether that be in life, in relationships, in business. And you've got the expansion here, which is the throat, which is about boundaries, is about saying what you need to say. It's about being yourself. So the message I'm getting here, uh, overall, sum this up, is that the more you can be yourself, accept yourself, and show up 100% authentically you, that is when everything is going to start to come together. So stop hiding. Stop conflict. This out of alignment is because you're pretending to be someone that you're not, and therefore it's causing these emotions within. It's time to step out of that and step into who you are. If you're spiritual, say you're spiritual. If you're gay, say you're gay. If you are um, homosexual, say you're homosexual. Whatever it is for you, whoever you are, let people judge. But the only person that really matters is what you feel, what you think about yourself. Other people will judge. Let them. Let them. It does not matter. Okay? It's about what you feel and what you, what, how you show up to this world. And showing up is going to be uh, authentically you is going to raise your vibration and people are going to be magnetized to you. Nobody cares. Nobody cares anymore. Right. And if they do, they're not your people. Let them go. All right. That is the message. And that is going to be the thing that is going to catapult you forward in 2022. So whoo, what a full moon. So get ready for the ride. <laughs> and please remember the energy of the moon is three days prior and three days after. So no matter when you're reading, uh, watching this, you can still use that moon energy and this energy work that we've done here today. All right, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you enjoyed the energy healing. And then also make sure you hit the subscribe button with the little bell notification to get notified when I have new videos coming out. All right, happy full moon. And I'll talk to you guys soon. If you're interested in the course to open your heart and trust again, that is down in the description box. All right. Much love. I'll see you next time. Bye.